Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tabacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a really cool old aluminum block petrol lighter that is characteristic in many ways to most other similar lighters of the era while still maintaining a nuance or two that give it a touch all its own. This lighter has a nice shiny high polish finish. A lot of aluminum block lighters tarnish or patina over time sort of have a gray scaly look to the surface but this particular lighter is not only very shiny while it does still have plenty of scratches scuffs dings There are no markings that I can find anywhere on the lighter. It has a disc type file wheel where you're actually rolling the file wheel itself to make the spark. Some folks would call this a lift arm. I don't believe that's the proper term. I think that's just a spring-loaded snuffer. I would not call that a lift arm. Has a nice big fill screw. Which is knurled around the edges. I like how that fill screw is offset to one side. I don't know if there was a practical reason for that. Most of the corners on this lighter are rather abrupt other than the corner there along the edge where the roller is. It is angled off it's sort of a circular cut to it it feels like but with my naked eye looking at the lighter it feels more like an angle but the other edges are finished they're not sharp but they're not rounded at all this lighter does show plenty of wear scuffs scratches, dings, tarnish, patina. Looks like the snuffer is held in place with a pin. So you'd have to drive that out. You couldn't just screw it out. Could make that a little bit more difficult. Who knows, it may make it a little more simple. This is a very well functioning lighter. I wouldn't have any problem putting this in my pocket and carrying it. I fueled it up last week and it's still lighting up just fine. The threads on the fill screw are very deep. Got the integrated screwdriver there on the underneath side of the fill screw. Fill screw fits very nice and flush on the base of the lighter. And then I'm going ahead and opening this back up here to give you a look inside. It looks like it's original wick. Which is very, I don't know, kind of a limp looking shoelace type. I didn't pull it out of there. I'm not planning on replacing it and it all looked like it was in good enough condition so we'll go ahead and 
screw our fill screw back down. I should say tighten our fill screw back down. This is the type of aluminum block lighter that you might see with World War II type engravings all over eBay, but I suspect that the vast majority, if not all of those, are maybe original lighters to the time, the late 40s or 1950s. But the engravings, I think, uh, for the most part, are wholly fraudulent. I don't know how anybody can really have any confidence in any kind of engravings about war on any type of lighter unless they have rock solid provenance from the original owner or the individual who did the engraving to begin with. That's just my two cents on that subject. This is a very solid lighter. I really like the way that it feels in my hand. It's not one of those that you're not going to know is in your pocket. Aluminum is a lightweight metal, but when you get a big chunk of it like this, then it can feel just as heavy in your pocket as any other. It's always cool. especially on these unmarked aluminum block petrol lighters to see something like the screwdriver integrated into the fill screw so that you don't need an external tool to manipulate your flint spring screw. Also nice to have the knurled edges and the good solid standard screwdriver slot. And then I also like that the snuffer extends so far upward so that you don't have any problem flipping it up. The only real negative for me is the disc style file wheel. I'm not a huge fan of that. But as you can see, very efficient ignition. I think I've struck it five times now and it's lit in four of them. I'd like it to be 100%, but that's pretty good. The man could spend the rest of his life collecting aluminum block petrol lighters alone. Until next time.